Hello, in this video I'll be going through how you can stop overthinking so you can have more clarity, get more things done and most importantly, have peace of mind. Most of what happens when we overthink is due to us fearing about the future. Will I get that mark on that exam? Will I get that job? What will happen if this person leaves me? So how can we stop this mind from having such a big sway over our emotions to a point where we feel like we're in a situation where we are incredibly anxious or we have analysis paralysis? My name is Simon. If you're someone that overthinks just like me, I really do hope that one of these things can help you out because overthinking honestly sucks. I mean, it leaves us in situations where we don't feel like we are comfortable making a decision. It leads us to procrastinate a lot so we get nothing done. It leads us to making up scenarios in our head that just doesn't really make sense and are very unlikely to happen. And above all else, it basically disturbs our peace of mind. So hopefully one of these few things can help you out. The first strategy that I'd like to share with you is being present. Now, I know you must have heard this a number of times, but one of the biggest reasons why we overthink is because our mind is focused on what's happening in the future or what we think will happen in the future. Now, the key word here is focus. If we can shift our mind's focus to the present moment, then we can actually feel a lot more grounded and we can have a lot more perspective. Like I said, Overthinking is largely due to us thinking and worrying about what's gonna happen in the future. But if we focus on what's happening right now, what we can hear, see, smell, touch, and taste, by consciously shifting our focus to the present moment, we can stop our minds from conjuring false information and expectations about the future. One way I love to practice this, and I encourage you to do the same, is going for a walk and focusing on what it is that you can see and hear. By simply focusing on what it is that we are looking at and what we can hear, we can consciously shift our attention to the present moment and away from the thoughts in our head. Now something else that you can do to reduce the number of thoughts and focus your mind so you can have a lot more clarity is by meditating. But the important thing here is, is how should you meditate in order to reduce the number of thoughts so you can have a lot more clarity and you can have a lot more peace of mind. And the best way that I think it works really well for me and I hope it does for you as well, is to sit down in an upright position with your neck and back in a straight line in a place with preferably minimal noise. And here you can do one of two things. You can one, focus on remaining absolutely still, not moving a single muscle and doing a slow and steady full scan of your whole body. Just make sure that here you're doing it really slowly. If you're not well practiced, then obviously this is going to require a lot of focus and attention. But as you're doing it, you'll find that the pace that your mind is running at will dramatically slow down. Now the point of this body scan meditation is to reduce the number of thoughts that's going through your mind. So instead of it going at 100 miles an hour, it's like going at 30 or 40 in like a really suburban area and you're just kind of just chilling. The second way that you can meditate is by focusing on your breathing. And here you'll take slow, long and deep lateral breaths. So it's actually like you're breathing out and you're kind of pushing out your rib cage rather than having your chest rising and falling. It sounds really weird, but you get used to it with practice. Now, the reason why focusing on our breath really helps is because when we are overthinking, our breath and our heart rate is really fast and our breathing is also very shallow. When we focus on taking deep, long breaths, then it's calming down our minds so we can make more effective decisions. We don't feel as overwhelmed and we aren't getting panicked. In an activity such as meditating, and especially if you've never done it before, it is really hard. It's, it's quite difficult to get used to sitting really still and focusing on your breathing. I mean, for me personally, it took me, I think, quite a few months for me to actually get into a place where I could just sit down still for 10 minutes. It's tough, it's not easy, but with things like this, it's practice makes perfect. So give it a shot, hopefully it works for you. And the third and last thing that you can do, and it's my most favorite of all, is introspection. Introspection gives you a great insight into your own mind, but it also allows you to have a lot more awareness as well. For a lot of us, overthinking can actually just be a really bad habit that we've just accumulated over time. And when we are in this habit of overthinking, our mind can actually make up a lot of lies. Mark Twain once said, I've had many worries in my life, most of which never happened. And when you introspect and you write down how you're feeling, it puts a lot of things into perspective for you. Facts can help calm you down because when we overthink, we feel like a lot of these scenarios that we're making up in our head could actually happen when in fact they are really highly unlikely. Another thing that introspection also gives you is an insight into what it is that you can control and what it is that you can't control. One of the most frustrating things about overthinking is feeling like you're the one that's not in control. But once we introspect and we find out what it is that we can control and what we can't, we then have a better perspective. And on those things that we find out that we can control, we feel 
feel a lot more empowered, like we can do something about it. And on the things that we can't control, we have a greater understanding that, okay, cool. This is something that's just out of my control. I can't do anything about it. So there's no point in me stressing out and worrying about it. So write it down. When your mind is racing and your heart's pumping at a crazy speed, grab a pen, grab a paper, and write down everything that is going on in your mind. It can be ugly, but better out than in. Everyone's got their demons that they need to fight, and this is how we start. This is how we start ceasing back control of our minds and in essence, our life. If we can get into the habit of learning, growing and becoming better, then we put ourselves in the driver's seat. You are now the one that's in control and you can direct your life in whatever way that you want to. So that's it. That's the best that I've got on overthinking. Be present, meditate and introspect. If you like this video, please make sure that you share it with a friend or family member who you know to be suffering from anxiety or overthinking. Please like the video and if you can, give it a sub. It would be great. It would mean a lot to me. And let me know in the comments as well how you deal with overthinking. It'd be interesting to see what are the different types of strategies and techniques that you guys use. Maybe I could try some of them as well. So yeah, good luck guys. And until next time, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.